food banks are starting to worry about the stress of Christmas as they struggle with increased demand for help. They say people are still coping with the fallout from COVID, even at level two. Katie Stevenson reports. Fruit, veggies, bread, the makings of a meal, donated by local supermarkets, growers and manufacturers. The latest delivery arriving at Food Bank Canterbury, from where it'll find its way to those in need. Demand is phenomenal. There's a lot of unknowns where we're going and I think people are very concerned about it. The Food Bank processes five tonnes of food a day, supplying more than 150 charities, but it's struggling to keep up and can't meet around a third of the demand. It's completely changed. We're hearing people say, I have never asked for help in my life before. You know, what am I doing? I'm here asking for help. Sandy Chapman collects food from here to distribute at the Phillipstown Community Hub. COVID increased that need as well, with a lot of people saying that they'd lost their jobs or their homes had changed. And with the festive period fast approaching, it's only expected to get worse. Christmas time is always a big need for the, uh, for the oldies, you know. Yeah. They, they always need it. There will be concerns, um, the increase for need will come. We are aware of that too. The Ministry of Social Development issued nearly 340,000 emergency food grants in the September quarter at a cost of $32 million. That's 20,000 more grants than in the same period last year. The big thing we notice with food insecurity, as we talk about, is not wealth-based. Um, it affects you know, people in the, the big homes, big mortgages, and all of a sudden dad's made redundant. You know, where's the money coming from? Need felt right across the community, making the job here even more important. Katie Stevenson, One News.